Friends, today we are going to do the very famous experiment called as the chemical chameleon. This simple classroom demonstration teaches us about the redox reactions, those reactions which simultaneously involves oxidation and reduction. For this experiment, we require a very less amount of potassium permanganate, that is around 1 mg, then we require 5 grams of sodium hydroxide and 3 grams of sucrose. We first dissolve the potassium permanganate in about 250 ml of water. The solution should be dilute, only then the color change will be evident. Now we prepare a separate solution of 5 grams of sodium hydroxide and sucrose. For that, we are now adding the sodium hydroxide in a flask. Now add distilled water into the sodium hydroxide. Stir the solution to dissolve the sodium hydroxide. This process of dissolution of sodium hydroxide is exothermic. Now we add sucrose to the same flask. Sucrose is table sugar with the formula of C12, H22 and O11. Stir the contents to dissolve the sucrose. Set up the flask containing the potassium permanganate solution and then we add the sucrose sodium hydroxide solution and stir. Observe the changes in color. Initially the color turned blue and now it is turning into a green color. On standing, the solution slowly turns to a yellow color and on further standing it turns into an orange to yellow color. After about 40 minutes, you can see that the solution has turned clear. Here, the potassium permanganate got reduced while the sucrose got oxidized. The permanganate ion which was purple reduced to the manganate ion which is green. The green and the purple initially made a blue color. On further formation of the manganate ion, it became green in color. The manganate ion formed reduced to form manganese dioxide which gave the yellow-orange color. The manganese dioxide settled down to form the clear solution later. If you can support me financially, you can do that via Patreon and PayPal. The links are given in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you loved my video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button so that you will not miss my new videos.